Hello everyone, welcome back to Sweet Sunflowers. My name is Marisol and thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cake pops and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway so make sure to watch the whole video to learn how. As always, I'm going to start with the ingredients. You're going to need a bowl to mush everything together. Of course, your cake that you're going to use to crumble up. And here I'm using whipped cream or chantilly cream. Um, as you can see, I bought it at Kroger. Really cheap. You can also use the frosting that comes in cans. I just really, really like that whipped cream because it's really nice and fluffy. Also, my favorite chocolate melts to use is the Ghirardelli chocolate melts and my silicone melting cup. It is a game changer. I'm also going to be using a cookie scooper for my cake balls. You can also use a tablespoon. I use it just to make sure that all of my cake balls come out the same size and this mold also you don't need but it does help that way when you put them in the fridge they still keep their round shape to them. I also will be using a cake pop stand, but I'm also going to grab a piece of parchment paper and show you guys a different way that you can make cake pops just in case you guys don't have a cake pop stand and you guys don't want to buy one. There is a different way that I will be showing you as well. And I'm also going to be using sanding sugar and my little butterflies that I made out of fondant to decorate my cake pops. The first step that you're going to do is crumble up your cake. I actually dyed my cake purple. That's why it is purple. It's not a special kind of flavor or anything. It's just purple. But yeah, I am going to go ahead and crumble up my cake. You want to make sure that you crumble it up very finely. You don't want big pieces of cake in your cake pop. So just go ahead and take the time to crumble it up really well. Once your cake is all nice and crumbled up, you're gonna go ahead and grab your icing. Again, I'm using whipped icing. You can also use the icing that comes in a jar. Now, despite popular belief, you do not need a lot of frosting to make cake pops, to make the dough of it. Um, you only need a little bit. I'm showing you guys here. I maybe could have used a little bit more, but I'm showing you guys here and at first I am using the spatula but you'll see I end up ditching it and just using my hands as I usually do. You want to make sure that you don't use too much frosting because what happens is it gets too greasy especially if you use the jar ones. Um, it becomes very oily so at the time that you're dipping your cake ball into the chocolate it will slide right off of your stick because it is just too oily to grip onto your cake pop stick. Once that's all done, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cookie scooper. Again, you don't need a cookie scooper. You can also use a tablespoon or you can even eyeball it. Just make sure that you try to keep them the same size that when they're all done and displayed, they all look pretty similar to each other. Make sure you guys are wearing gloves or, in my case, wash your hands very, very well because you are going to be using your hands a lot, of course, when it comes to this. Now, it is a little bit tedious just because you do have to work quite a bit with your cake ball, especially if you're not used to it, so don't feel discouraged. You will get there. The first thing that I like to do is I like to flatten out the dough in my hands and make like a little patty with it. Once I do that, I like to now put them in the middle of my hand and I put slight pressure on it and just start rolling it. You guys are going to see, I actually fast forwarded this, but I do work with it quite a bit, even just using my fingers to smooth out any imperfections that's on the ball. And again, I keep rolling it in my hand, applying slight pressure to make the ball round. And here you can see once I'm finished, it's not perfect, but it's just enough for me. 
I'll be honest with you guys, sometimes I struggle because I am a perfectionist, but perfection is just not something that we're always going to be able to achieve, right? So don't be too hard on yourselves. Just keep trying and eventually you'll get to where you want to be in your guys's, well, in this case, your cake pops. I went ahead and melted my Ghirardelli chocolate in my uh, silicone cup and once it is all nice and creamy I'm gonna go ahead and move on to actually dipping my cake pop so there is also something super important that you have to do is when you first initially dip your stick into the chocolate don't go too far in because what's going to happen is you're going to have a big piece of chocolate that's going to be on top of your stick and I like to work either one to two cake pops at a time. I don't dip my stick in all of them and then go in because you leave a ball of chocolate at the top of your stick and it's just not a good look. You want to have them look as clean as you can. Once you've dipped your cake pop into the chocolate, I let it drain just a little bit. And once I do that, I go ahead and tap either on my hand or I gently tap the stick on the cup. You want to make sure that you're gentle with this because if you do it too hard, the cake pop is just going to fall right off of your stick. As you can see here, there was a little piece of chocolate that was on the side that I couldn't get off. So what I then did is I just rolled around my cake pop stick to smooth it out. And then I go back in and I do some more tapping um, just to make sure that you get that excess chocolate off. Now the other method to make cake pops is the one where you use parchment paper instead of a cake stand. So again, I'm going to dip my stick in my chocolate, put it in my ball, and just wait about 30 seconds to let it harden. The reason why you do this, I didn't explain. The reason why you do this is because the chocolate then um, sets inside of your cake ball. That way it lessens the chance of it falling off once you dip it in chocolate and you're tapping it um, to get all the excess off. Once you're done removing all of the excess chocolate, what you're gonna do is just like that place it on your parchment paper. I actually did go back and remove it from there. It did seem like there was just too much excess. So what I do is I kind of just scrape the bottom of it and just that little bit is going to make a big difference. And I set it back down and we're gonna come back to this cake pop in just a bit. Here we are repeating the same process of dipping your cake pop into the chocolate for all of the cake pops. So go ahead and enjoy this time lapse of that.
all right so for the cake pops that are gonna have sprinkles what you're gonna do is dip them in the chocolate as you normally would and top all of the excess off once you're done with that your while your chocolate is still wet you're gonna go ahead and either cover the whole cake pop in sprinkles or in my case in this cake pop I'm just going to place some sprinkles and sprinkle it on the top of the cake pop to give it that look so as you can see here I'm just doing it while the chocolate is still wet that way when it sets it's going to set with your sprinkles and they're not going to fall off Now you guys i am super excited to bring to you guys a giveaway i just want to say thank you guys all so much for your support now i'm going to be giving away the kit that i use for my cake pops it comes with the cake pop sticks the treat bags and the little twist ties that uh, you use to package these i'm also going to be giving away the acrylic cake pop stand that i'm using but of course a brand new one for you guys and the giveaway is pretty simple all you guys have to do is be subscribed to my channel give this video a like and leave a comment down below in a video request of what you guys want to see for the next upcoming videos the giveaway will end september 9th and i will announce the giveaway winner here on youtube through the community page so make sure um, that you keep a lookout for that i am so excited and i hope you guys are excited as well all right so on to the cake pops that i have not worked with yet the ones that just dipped in chocolate and set i'm gonna grab my cake pop stick and just place a little bit of chocolate on them and place my fondant butterflies on them you guys know that i love working with fondant because i do live in arizona it is very hot here so i find that when i am working with small decorations like this one they automatically start melting in my fingers and they just it just does not work with me so i do use fondant to make all of my little um, figurines butterflies all of that so yeah i absolutely love these i love the color lilac and the silver just made it look so beautiful and elegant and here you can see it did break on me because they are so small but it's okay i just went ahead and put them on there anyway Here's the cake pop of the one that we used without the cake pop stand. Still beautiful. And here are the ones that I did using the cake pop stand. They're not perfect, but they came out so beautiful. These have been one of my favorite cake pops that I've made. I hope you guys like them as well. And here you can see I'm actually packaging up just a couple of them. Just so you guys can see this is a different um, way that you guys can do it as well. I will leave everything that I have used in this video in the description. These stickers I actually got from Timu, um, so I'm not sure if I can link those, but I'm sure that they have some on Amazon that are similar as well. 
so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video it was a long time coming so thank you guys for your patience i want to remind you guys to look at the giveaway instructions down below and i will see you guys on the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye